Welcome back from Breakout, and we are in the home stretch of eBay Connect 2017. I'm so happy to see. I see some people are recaffeinating, and I hope you enjoyed your cool, comfortable lunch here. Uh, and then the breakouts. I am very pleased to introduce our special guest. It is secret surprise special guest time. Uh, I'm introducing Steve Fisher, the chief technology officer of eBay. Steve joined eBay two and a half, two and a half years ago uh, from Salesforce, and one thing that I've been very um, thrilled and positively impacted by and really appreciate is Steve's strong focus on making eBay a commerce platform. Now, you've heard us say this quite a bit. Um, I also love uh, the kind of technical rigor that Steve has brought to eBay, and I'm seeing all these incredible positive changes since Steve has been here. So, Steve Fisher, CTO of eBay. <laughs> we're going to do a brief. Uh, we're going to do brief Q and A with you. Um, I'm going to kick it off with two questions, uh, and then we'll open the floor in just a minute. So think of your good questions. Thank you for coming. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, Thank I you all for coming. Yeah, it's great. So first question is, um, uh, so on the day one of eBay Connect, one of the first questions we got out of the crowd was, are you ever going to deprecate the trading API? Oh. And you'll never guess what I answered. I assume you said we were not going to deprecate them. <laughs> That's right. But I said, I hell no. Right. Hell no. <laughs> uh, well, there it is. Um, so, you know, as Gail said, I spent, uh, well, I came from Salesforce. I was there for 10 years and kind of was uh, pretty instrumental in launching Salesforce's platform strategy and API strategy and all of that back in uh, 2004 or so. And I kind of, you know, there, we had large numbers of customers and developers that would really bet their business on these APIs, and we just had a philosophy that we were never going to deprecate, and that created um, a lot of discipline on the side of the engineering team in order to create a robust uh, framework that would allow the APIs to evolve without um, having to go back and break customers. And so that just seemed like a very successful, critical strategy. People bet their business on these APIs. And uh, we also experienced other companies' APIs that we used that kind of, without any communication at all, would just break them. And it was, we ended up having to basically throw that stuff away because we couldn't, couldn't bet our business on that. So that was sort of the philosophy that, uh, that we've adopted, which is we, it's a commitment and we need to keep those commitments and allow people who are willing to com commit to us to you know, share that back and not uh, break that promise. So now let me ask you a hardball question. Oh, hardball question. So um, if we're never gonna deprecate the trading APIs, why should anyone ever use our new APIs? Uh, well, it's very likely that over time, new functionality that didn't exist back when the trading APIs existed will likely only be available, so that's one answer. And also, I think, you know, the trading APIs are great, but they're, you know, API, um, the design of APIs has sort of evolved quite a bit. And so, um, it's more there, that's more represents the commitment to not break anything, but, you know, pretty much the making easier to use APIs and more capabilities, those will be in the new APIs. So eventually, we expect that people that want to be on the leading edge of taking uh, advantage of capabilities that we provide would naturally want to be on the new APIs, or at least a hybrid. Um, and, but not breaking the old APIs means that code that exists won't break. Awesome. So one last question for me, and then we'll open it up. Uh, why now for Connect? Why is the right time to go out to our ecosystem? Well, so it was, I was just uh, reflecting a little bit. It was basically three years ago for me uh, in June of 2014 that I first met with Devin to talk about potentially joining eBay. And uh, I was on a bit of a sabbatical um, from my former employer and was kind of looking around to see what else was out there. And it really made, and I joined in September, but I met him in June. And really what we talked about then was, the fundamental thing we talked about was how we needed to 
evolve eBay to being a commerce platform. Um, obviously, we have you know, our marketplace, and it's very vibrant, great ecosystem, great uh, uh, buyers and seller community, tremendous inventory, scale, all of that. But how could we um, open it up? was really the crux of my very first conversation I ever had with Devin. And that was appealing to me. I've worked in platforms basically my entire career. I just believe and have seen over and over again that when you can open up something that is valuable and unleash the innovation of, of, other, of other people, then the product can go, the capability can go in directions you never would have, you know, you never would have uh, contemplated. That's certainly what, you know, I think we saw with Salesforce and I'd seen it at Apple where I worked and other places where I worked. This is my belief. And so that was a big reason why I joined. And I think it took us a while to sort of put in place the strategy and begin to deliver meaningful new capabilities with a meaningful new style, um, much more modern style, uh, which we started to do late last year. And so it felt like the time we've talked about, we pretty much talked about this event basically from when I first joined. And it was just when, was, when would we have delivered enough that people would start to believe that we're serious about this and committed to really creating a platform and, and revitalizing the ecosystem and investing and supporting and growing and listening and learning and all of those things that you need to do to have a successful platform. And it didn't, didn't seem like we really had that in place uh, until maybe now. Yeah. And that was really what, I mean, you and I talked about this uh, for the last couple of years. It's true. And this seemed like the time when we delivered enough. We got a long way to go, but enough to have credibility, to have something to talk about and to show we're really serious. And uh, so I think that's basically why. The Star Developer Awards are back. And today we're going to give out three awards. The first award, you get to hold the awards. Oh. OK, I'll announce and you hold them. Aren't they pretty? There, uh, yeah. I wish I had one. <laughs> it's a Star Award. Um, back uh, many years ago when we held eBay developer conferences in the past, we would recognize our developers. So I'm so excited to bring this heritage um, into eBay Connect. So we're going to give three awards today. The first award is for early adopter. And this award goes to a launch partner for the Buy APIs who was incredibly active, not only early with us at alpha stage of the APIs. They were really foundational in giving us feedback that made these APIs awesome. This award goes to Wikibuy. So Kyle, will you come up, please, on behalf? Share this with your engineers, OK? We will. OK, Appreciate thank you. Thanks. Congratulations, Kyle and Wikibuy. <laughs> the second star award, this is the Rapid Growth Award. This goes to a third party developer whose use of our APIs and whose interactions with the developer program and whose adoption of new features in the APIs has had a massive positive impact on their business. So this company has been able to grow their business significantly by partnering with us deeply. This award goes to Celebrate. So home on. One more award. This final award is the Community Award. Now, this award goes to the developer who's been ex the most active in our community. And I bet some of you already know. I just need to look. This um, this developer's username—that's what I was looking for—is Helios825. And 
This developer has been particularly generous with his time and energy in the forums, a longtime member of the eBay developer program. And I learned today, I don't know if you know this, do you know you have the highest reputation score on the eBay forums? There's one person with a higher score than you, but we pay them to be on the forums. <laughs> Someone from developer tech support. So congratulations, Jake, from watchcount.com. <laughs>but thank you so much oh. for coming by and as we kick off eBay Connect 2017 and um, yeah thank you oh, well thank you and you made this coming. possible you made this journey to an eBay uh, platform possible. they made it possible so, they made so it possible thank you very much all right well thank you thanks Steve Fisher CTO Well, according, according to my monitor, there's four minutes and 34 seconds left of eBay Connect 2017. And so um, I just want to thank you all for coming. Uh, remember I said thoughtful, exciting risk? I think starting this event and starting in this, you know, we could have done a gigantic developer conference, but what we chose to do is invite you, our most important partners, to have this really intimate two-way conversation about our technology and I hope you see how serious we are, because we are serious about the ecosystem and the platform and the APIs, and about helping you grow your businesses on eBay. Uh, I've been pretty moved on several occasions, and not just because I had to get out of the way of Jenga last night. Um, I've really, it was so, I've learned so much about eBay and about you by understanding what your businesses do and how you're using the APIs. And especially, I wanna thank you for your honest feedback, because the new APIs are so young, and we're really hungry to hear what you need to go faster, and then we are ready to deliver that for you. So I just wanna say thank you so much. I hope you've had an awesome time. I sure have. I know the eBay folks in the back have, and we are gonna see you next year. Thank you, thank you very much.